Hi, I'm Ellen Flexman and I'm an Adult Services Librarian for the Indianapolis Public Library's Outreach Services. One of the activities for this summer's Adult Summer Reading Program is to read a book by a black author. And today I want to introduce you to two of my favorite authors. The first one is Nell Painter and her book is called Old in Art School, A Memoir of Starting Over. Now, Nell, when she was in her 60s, she was an eminent historian, an author, a professor at Princeton University. And when she decided to retire, she thought, I don't really want to do going off to the beach or doing my gardening. I want to do something different. She loved art all her life, and she loved learning. And so for her, that meant going back to art school to get a bachelor's degree and then a master's degree in fine art. Now, Nell stood out pretty well, even on her first day. On her first day, she met one of her cohorts who looked her up and down and said, how old are you? And when Nell told her she was in her 60s, the girl was so impressed, she had to call her mother on her cell phone to tell her what she had just discovered. Now Nell's journey through art school was tough. Not only was she competing with people younger than her, she was coming up against racial prejudice, gender prejudice, and ageism. So that when even her teachers would tell her that her interests were in the wrong century, and that meant the 20th century. Add to that, her parents were getting older and she was having to go back and forth between New Jersey and Oakland, California to take care of them. This book is her journey. Not only does she talk about the challenges of finding her own voice as an artist and getting through art school, she even talks about the process of how she made a lot of the artworks that she did before, during art school, and after art school. It's a wonderful book about starting over and not letting anybody tell you who you need to be. The second author is one of my favorites and her name is N.K. Jemison, who is a preeminent author in the area of science fiction, but she's a great author no matter what genre. This is her book, her first in her Broken Earth trilogy called The Fifth Season. It's about a place called stillness. It's a world where it's one continent, but it's not still. It's racked by earthquakes and divisions and natural disasters that a lot of times can only be helped by a group of people called Origines, who can actually feel into the earth and keep it calm or, with their anger, tear it apart. But the Origines are an oppressed people because people are afraid of them because they're different. This is a book not only about oppression and about living through it, but it's about family. It's about the family that you lose and it's about the family that you choose. This book won for N.K. Jemison her first Hugo Award for science fiction, and she was the first African-American woman to win the Hugo Award, which is a prestigious science fiction award. She's such a great author that her second book in the series, which is The Obelisk Gate, won the Hugo Award the next year for science fiction novel. And then the year after that, she came out with her third one in the trilogy, which is called The Stone Sky. N.K. NK Jemison, her third Hugo Award. She's the only author to win three Hugos, three years in a row for the same series. If you get a chance, go onto YouTube and see her acceptance speech for her third Hugo. I think you'll really like it. I hope you like these books and give them a chance. Whether you're a lover of nonfiction, read the science fiction. Even if you're not a lover of science fiction, these are wonderful books about family and love and oppression. Thanks so much.